plastic necklace of jewelry along the edge of this. Oh man, I can't, there, let's do it again. I, there's I something, like there's something in there. It's making me crazy actually. Because the, this, there's a picture in here. There's definitely a picture in here. Wow, that was amazing. Thirty-five miles up the fjord from Disco Bay, Baylog's time-lapse cameras are stationed above the calving face to capture Jakob Schavn's every move. Baylog has teamed up with glaciologist Jason Box, who has been keeping a close watch on Jakob Schavn and other glaciers along the coast for the past 14 years. The Jakob Schavn Glacier is the king of glaciers in Greenland. It produces by far more icebergs and more ice flow than any other single glacier. This is really where the rubber hits the road in terms of sea level rise. Glaciers are, of course, very dynamic systems, but you don't really see that when you sit there and stare at them. We're able to observe with the time-lapse cameras at a much higher frequency, like every hour, whereas from satellite, you can only observe the glacier every 10 days or so. What they are finding is that the ice is far more sensitive to temperature changes than they thought. During the summer melt season, Jakob Schavn is now moving at a clip of 130 feet per day, almost twice as fast as a decade ago. The faster it goes, the more pressure builds up behind the glacier's 400-foot-high calving face. This triggers more frequent and explosive calving events. In the spring of 2008, Baylog's team was staking out Jakobshaven and got lucky, capturing the largest calving event ever filmed. In the space of about an hour, a section of ice as wide as Manhattan sheared off the glacier. We've underestimated the sensitivity of these systems. We are approaching the threshold of viability for the Greenland ice sheet, and that's when the melting occurs high enough on the ice sheet that no matter how much snow accumulates, um, there's net loss every year. Greenland is already losing 150 billion tons more ice every year than it gains in snowfall. As temperatures go up in the coming decades, even more ice will be lost. The hard part is figuring out how much and how fast. There's big questions now that we didn't think we were gonna have to solve. They're hard questions. Ultimately, you crank up the temperature in the air and the ice sheet notices and it flows faster and it raises sea level. But how fast and how much are questions that really we don't have answers to. Some of those answers may be hidden deep under the ice. The summer melt season on the Greenland ice sheet has grown hotter and is now two weeks longer than it was only a decade ago. Rivers of meltwater cut deep into the ice, creating a serpentine canyon that winds for miles. one of the most exceptional landscapes I've ever seen in my life. You know, this looks so much like those incredible canyons out in the sandstone country in Utah. And you have that, except it's sculpted out of ice. It's like this huge, incredible cake sculpted by this river in here. And it's like, the world isn't supposed to look like this. 